Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we're making zucchini raviolis. Grab a plate, cause it's the all free whole food plant-based cooking show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm so glad you're here, because today we're making this delicious zucchini ravioli. Trying to use up some of that zucchini. If you see back here, I've got loads of it coming in in the garden. So I already went out and got my fresh zucchini and mandolin it uh, on a very thin setting, but I'll show you all that later. First, the thing we're gonna do is get going on our sauce. So I've got a small onion here that's diced into just teeny little pieces. And I've got my burner on medium high and I'm gonna do the garlic with it. This is three cloves of garlic because it doesn't really need to cook that long. And as you see, I didn't put any oil in the pan. If it does start sticking a little bit, all you need to do, I'm gonna use this from the recipe, is just use a little bit of vegetable broth or even water. And that will keep it from sticking. So we're just gonna get these cooked until the onions are translucent, and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, now that our onions and garlic are done, we're gonna add our two tea, or a teaspoon and a half of basil, a whole can, a six ounce can of tomato paste. That's gonna give it that delicious, rich flavor because the tomato paste is already concentrated. And this is a half a cup of red wine Uh, and if you don't want to use red wine, you can always just use a half cup more of the vegetable oil or vegetable broth. That will work just fine. We're going to cook off this wine for just a couple minutes. And then I'm going to add our vegetable broth. And this is two cups of vegetable broth. Just waiting for the so the higher, the, this high heat will cook off the alcohol from the wine. So you're not actually getting any alcohol in this, but it's adding some body to it, some richness of flavor. There we go. And as it cooks even more, while this is simmering, it'll cook more of that off. So now we're gonna add our two cups of vegetable broth. And I'm gonna use my whisk just to whisk out some of the clumps of the tomato paste. And we're just gonna let this simmer until it's nice and thick. So I'm gonna clear this stuff out and I'm gonna get some of our ingredients for the zucchini raviolis. And then we'll just let this cook, continue to cook on the burner. Today's show is brought to you in part by Complement. As healthy as it is, did you know there are a handful of missing or hard to get nutrients from a plant based diet? The latest research suggests that complementing your diet with a few specific vitamins, minerals, and omega 3s will help boost your energy and keep you thriving for the long term. That's why I take Complement Plus every day. Complement Plus contains the eight critical nutrients in dosages optimized specifically for plant based eaters. Plus, they're completely transparent about ingredient sourcing and third-party testing, publishing the results directly on their website. As a special discount for our viewers, just use the code WFPB15 at checkout to save 15% off of your order. Now on to the stuffing that's gonna go inside of the raviolis. So I have here a half a box or seven ounces of an extra firm tofu. And we're just gonna crumble that into our bowl here. Okay, the same with our spinach. This is two cups of chopped spinach, frozen spinach. And I just let it thaw a little bit and tried to squeeze off some of the juice, just so that a lot of that water is already out of it, so that you don't end up with a soupy mess in the bottom of your pan. Then we have two tablespoons of Kalamata olives that are diced, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, a teaspoon of garlic powder, 
a teaspoon of Bragg's liquid aminos, and then half a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of thyme, and a half a teaspoon of oregano. We're just gonna do a little bit of pepper in there. My hands are all messy. Okay. And then the juice of half a lemon. And this is a pretty big lemon, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna do all of it. So it comes out to about between one and two teaspoons of lemon juice. And then we're gonna stir it up, but I like to actually do it a little bit with my hands because we really want this stuff to stick together well. So I'm just squeezing it like this, squeezing it together so it all gets really incorporated together. So this is sort of like a ricotta that would go in the middle of uh, raviolis with added nutrition for that spinach. Okay, so that's as simple as that. Now we're gonna set that aside and I'll get out my zucchinis and our pan and then by then hopefully our sauce will be ready and we'll be ready to assemble. Today's show is brought to you in part by Wellbean. Beans are an essential part of a whole food plant-based diet and should feature prominently in our daily menu. We love finding new and convenient ways to get our servings in. Wellbean is a tasty and wholesome way to get half a serving of beans in every bar. Wellbean bars are vegan and gluten-free with no preservatives and no added salt, sugar, or oil. Each bar is made only from an assortment of beans, fruits, nuts, and seeds. As a special deal for our viewers, follow the link in the description and use the code TRYWELLBEAN5 to save $5 off a variety pack on your first order, because life is better with beans. Now we are ready for assembly. And if you wanna come and take a look at the sauce here, the sauce is done. And this is about how thick it should be. So we're gonna start by putting just a couple scoops, ladles of it into the bottom of the pan. And that will kind of help to keep the zucchini from sticking to the bottom because we're not gonna oil this pan at all. This will be just fine because when these cook also, some of that liquid comes out so it will keep it nice and wet on the bottom so they won't stick. All right, so I have my zucchini here and I've mandolined them pretty thin because you want them to be very pliable, right? Because we're gonna be folding these. And this was one of my, one of my large zucchinis there. It's probably better if you, you have the smaller you know, maybe the smaller zucchini because as you see here, with the larger zucchinis, you do get some seeds in it. It doesn't harm anything. They just look nicer if, you know, if they have more of just the flesh like this. So our mixture is here, our sauce is here. This is a nine by 13 baking pan. So we're gonna start out <clears throat> by layering three on the bottom, just like that. And then right in the center, or we're gonna try to center these, three more, just like that, like that, okay? Then you're gonna take a nice generous scoop here. I just have my little melon baller, so you can get a little, nice little round scoop there. Okay. And this is completely up to you. If you do have the larger, larger zucchini and you've mandolined it, and the slices are a lot wider. That's great too. You could make, you know, maybe like 12 raviolis in total, or you can do it like this where they're a little bit smaller and you just fill up that pan with as many as you can. So we're gonna fold first the top layer and then the other side of that top layer, just like that. And then that bottom layer, you're gonna fold over the top of the rest of it from one side and then the other side. And it makes these adorable, then I'm gonna flip it over, these adorable little parcels like that. And that's our ravioli. Okay, so you're gonna put that in the pan and we're just gonna keep assembling until we use all of this zucchini up or we layer it all into that pan. And this is pretty fiddly, you know, and it's it's kind of a, a fancier thing if you're having, 
guess or something. Um, but by all means, you could just make this into a lasagna. You could just layer the zucchini, layer some of the, the, the filling, another layer of zucchini, and then that wonderful cheesy sauce we're going to pour on the top. It, it'll work just fine too. But for today, we're going to make these into these little adorable raviolis. So I'm going to finish assembling these little raviolis and then I'll show you how to make the cheese sauce that's going to go on the top. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of free printable recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy cookbook series are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting membership community. Our supporting members gain access to great member perks like our monthly product giveaways, eBooks, and in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. So if you love our recipes, I invite you to join us on our mission to make plant-based cooking easy and follow the link in the description to become a supporting member today. Okay, let's get back to the show. All right, done. These little babies all tucked in there, they look so cute. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna spread a little bit of sauce on top of them. The rest of the sauce that's in here. But I don't wanna cover them up completely. You still wanna see them peeking out just a little bit. And the sauce smells so delicious. It's got that very dark tomatoey tomato smell. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna smooth it around a little bit. All right. Oops. There we go. All right, now onto our cheese sauce. And I did have a little bit of filling left. It just kind of depends on the size of your zucchini and everything. You might end up having a little bit left over too. You could just tuck it down in the, the sides or you could stick it in the fridge and spread it on toast or something tomorrow. It's still gonna be delicious. All right, so our cheese sauce. This is half a cup of cashews, two tablespoons, or I'm sorry, a quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of lemon juice, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, and a half a cup of water. Now we're just gonna blend this up really quick in our Nutribullet until it's very, very smooth and silky. And there we are. And if you are going, if you're nut free, you could also use sunflower seeds or do half sunflower seeds, half uh, rolled oats. That also works, but it's not going to be quite as rich as this cashew sauce. So now we're just going to drizzle this over the top. And I'm letting it drizzle down over the sides so that all of that flavor soaks into the zucchini while it's cooking in between them. Yum. There we go. Okay. And my oven is already preheated to 400 degrees. We're gonna stick it in there. I'm gonna start out at 30 minutes and then we'll check to see if they're done. It might take five to 10 minutes more than that though. They are finished, guys, and it did take exactly 30 minutes. Oh, the smell. You've got to come and take a look at this. Oh, 
I cannot wait to dig into these. So I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit and then I'm gonna meet you at the table for a taste. All right, my favorite part, the tasting part. Oh, these are so cute. I just love them. They come out individually, so nice. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that filling. And you get a little of the red sauce and the zucchini is still just slightly crispy. Oh my goodness. This is so full of flavor. Wow, you guys are really gonna love this. This would be perfect just, you know, for having guests over or just for treating yourself to something special. So be sure to give this video a like guys. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week for another great recipe.